I discovered this thing called the curly girl method. Just smooth it through your hair, just smooth it through. This one's so cute. While you're still in the shower naked, wrap it up, put it in a button, I don't know, stick it. <laughs> Hello beautiful humans, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello and welcome, and if you are a returning subscriber, you probably are noticing my hair looks a little different. This video, as you may have realized from the title, is about my curly hair journey that I'm embarking on um, that I've literally just started this week. On my Instagram, I was posting about things that I was doing this week to kind of switch over um, from flat ironing and straightening my hair all the time to letting it be in its natural state and so I had a quite a few people ask to um, ask me questions or if I could go into more detail so that is what this video is for. So I'm going to walk you through my process, what I've been doing this past week. Um, this is what I'm starting off with and um, this is you know not bad considering I flat ironed and heat styled my hair quite often on the regular for most of my life and, and as well I've dyed it obviously a lot too so okay we're gonna flash back to last night and where this all began and you'll see what my hair looked like last night before here we go so I just got back from my hair appointment this is my natural wavy hair wavy curly hair it's just like a frizzy fuzzy fluffy amazing mess so this is, this is the texture. When I was looking online, researching different hairstyles and uh, cuts and stuff, which if you know me, I tend to do a lot of research before making any decision, I discovered this thing called the curly girl method. And what that is, is this whole kind of process when you have naturally kind of wavy curly hair to help bring back the curl pattern in your hair because from what I've learned, if you heat style, you dye, bleach, color your hair, um, all these things can be really damaging to your natural curl or wave, and then you eventually start to lose that curl and wave. So in order to recover your curl pattern, there's a bunch of different steps that are involved, and one of them is that you need to cut off all the damaged parts of your hair. So and this was my hair before. Step one, I got a haircut. Step two, I'm gonna deep start deep conditioning. Step three, I'm not gonna color it anymore, so the whatever is here now is what I'm gonna let grow out. Um, step four is I've switched all my styling products to sulfite-free, paraben-free, and silicone-free. There's tons of other things to show you, um, which I will go grab right now. Basically, you're not supposed to brush curly wavy hair when it's dry. You're really not supposed to brush your hair at all. If anything, you wanna use like a wide tooth comb on your hair or a pick or just your fingers. You only wanna comb your hair in the shower with lots of conditioner in it when it's wet, very gently just to get out any tangles and that's it. So I'll walk you through my showering experience. I get in, I do whatever I gotta do. When I shampoo, I'm only shampooing a little quarter size of shampoo into my roots. That's it, because everything down here, as the shampoo runs down your hair, it will clean the rest of this, but as you can see, this is pretty dry, so it doesn't need any more shampoo. So shampoo your scalp, rinse it out, and then I have Diva Curl One Conditioner, just the original conditioner. And I put a ton of it in my hair because my hair is really dry always. And then I run my fingers through it and if I feel there's any like knots or anything, then I'll take my wide tooth comb, start from the bottom, work your way up. The biggest thing that you need to be is patient. I have gotten in trouble because Skylar's overheard me like trying to comb through my hair and I will just like snap and break and rip my hair because I have no patience for it. Once I've got the conditioner in, I'll leave it in for a few minutes while I'm doing other things in the shower, rinse it all out, and then you want to add whatever styling products 
And while you're still in the shower, in the tub, just leave everything in the bathtub because this is where all your hair work will be done. Um, so if you have any styling cream or gel, you wanna put it on your soaking wet hair. Your cuticles are going to absorb the most product and therefore um, you'll have more definition and less frizz in your hair. So what I'll do is then I take what I, the other product that I got, which is the Diva Curl Texture and Volume Believe-In Leave-In Gel. The reason I got Diva Curl products is because they are sulfate-free, paraben-free, and silicone free. I found them at a salon um, on Granville in Vancouver, if you're in the neighborhood. Um, you can also order them online, of course, because you can order everything online. Okay, so then when you're running product through your hair, you don't want to be doing anything crazy. You just put some in your hands, just run it. They, there's this whole prayer method where you just, you just smooth it through your hair, just smooth it through. And then you start to scrunch. While you're still in the shower naked, bent over, you start to scrunch. Scrunching, 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 scrunching. Scrunching is like what you need to do for the rest of your life. Once that's done, and you're getting out of the shower, you just then grab a towel, wrap it around your head, and put your little towel. Just kidding! Not a huge mistake again that curly haired, wavy, her wavy haired gals and humans and peeps make is that they use a regular terry cloth towel, whatever towels you have, the, the run of the mill towel on your head, and they're just really bad for your hair. They will cause a lot of frizz and damage. So what you're supposed to use is a microfiber towel, similar to the towels that you use to wash your car because they're so gentle and smooth. So you can get them from like your Walmart, your wherever, Winners. Put your hair in here, wrap it up, put it in a button, I don't know, stick it. <laughs> stick your hair all up in there, upside down, you know. You're not doing it like this. This is a really bad example. Dun 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 dun. But if you don't want to shell out to get one of these, which was honestly like five or six bucks, you can also just use a t-shirt because t-shirts will do the same thing. Like they won't damage your hair. Um, and I've done that method as well. And then you just let your hair dry. If you can air dry it, that's ideal. When you are air drying it, Another option is to get some of these handy dandy clips. These I picked up from a dollar store. And you can clip up parts of your hair while it's air drying to create air pockets so that your hair close to your scalp dries evenly with the rest of your hair and it'll help with that volume situation so you don't get like flat hair. But another thing that helps with volume is getting layers in your hair. Okay. And then sleeping. So what do you do when you want to make all this e effort last you for longer than a day? When I sleep at night, another thing you can invest in from the dollar store is hair scrunchies. This one's so cute. And you put a pineapple on your head at night when you go to sleep, which basically looks like this. And then you pull it kind of, make sure it's not too tight on your roots. And that's how you go to bed. And this is supposed to kind of keep your curls from getting crushed while you sleep. And then, yeah. And then my last pro tip when sleeping to save your curls is invest in a satin pillowcase. I slept on my satin pillowcase a few times this week and it is so amazing. It stays nice and cool to your skin. It's actually really good for your skin as well because cotton pillowcases are actually pretty harsh on your skin as well. And if you're in my age category, you start noticing things. You know what I'm saying? I also invested in, at the dollar store, some shower caps. So maybe let's just review the list here. Satin pillowcase, hair scrunchies, hair clips, sulfate-free, paraben-free, silicone-free hair products, wide tooth comb, microfiber towel. These are all things that will really help with taking care of your curly, wavy, beautiful, amazing hair. And deep condition, which I'm gonna do right now. Skylar's not home, so when they're not home, I like to have 
bonnets and I'm gonna also maybe do a face mask and eat chocolate and watch The Real Housewives of some, wherever. I like them all, every episode, season. What is your favorite Housewives series? <laughs> Comment below. I think honestly, I just love Orange County because it's like the OG of The Real Housewives. Skylar hates that I like this show, but I don't, I don't even know why I do. I don't watch any other TV except for the worst television, like The Bachelor, Real Housewives, and I hate keeping up with the Kardashians. It's true, so. See you guys in the morning when I go through my whole process. Good morning. So last night I put a deep conditioner in my hair and I slept with it overnight. My hair is actually not wet right now. It's actually oily. Um, what conditioner I used was actually a big scoop of coconut oil. Took a big spoon in the jar, put it in my hands, and just put it all through my hair. And then I slept with a really cute shower cap on. Just woke up, and now I'm going to have my shower and get started on the whole process which is like a bit of work, so I've been procrastinating, but I'm gonna do it right now, and I will get back to you after. <sighs> Got out of the shower, rewarding myself for all my hard work with my first cup of coffee this morning. <sighs> and because I'm not in a rush and it's the weekend, I'm just gonna let it dry a bit in the towel, probably for like half an hour, because my hair is soaking wet. I put all my products in already, I did not comb it, I just actually used my fingers and finger combed it in the shower with my conditioner. And now I'm just gonna let it sit for a bit and kind of dry because it was sopping wet. And then I will diffuse. My mom got me this. It matches my knuckles, if you didn't know, so. Oh, I love coffee. Okay, so I took my hair out and I started to diffuse it with cold air on a very low setting and when you diffuse your hair of course you have your dryer with the diffuser attachment on there and then you basically on a low setting just hold the diffuser I basically will gather up hair and then push the diffuser almost up to my scalp and just let it sit there for about five to ten seconds and then move it to another part and just hold it the less you move the dryer around the less frizz you're gonna have so now I'm gonna go eat breakfast and what I'm gonna do is actually use these clips that I bought from the dollar store and I'm actually gonna clip um, the heavier parts of my hair, that the parts that are pulling down so that my roots can dry and also when they dry they'll, they'll have a bit of lift in them um, because I like to have, I want, my goal is to have big ass hair. I love big hair, so. Gorgeous. And one thing you're gonna probably notice is there's parts of your hair that are gonna curl really, really easily and then you're gonna have parts that don't, especially if you're in a transition phase where you're just starting your curly hair journey and wanting to transition from heat styling to just wearing it in its natural state. Um, I know that a lot of people will just use a curling iron and curl those bits that aren't curling. I'm just, you know, I'm just that committed type. So once I decide I'm not gonna do something, I'm not gonna do it. So I. I'm not choosing to use heat styling tools at all other than my hair dryer on a low, cool setting. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this, eat my breakfast, watch old series of The Bachelor. I also really enjoy Queer Eye, um, the new version. Um, please tell me you've watched it. If you haven't watched it, you need to stop watching this and go watch all two seasons because it's life. I'll see you in a bit. So this is the final result. Um, I'm really happy that I went in and got those layers um, last night because you can see there's a lot, some shorter pieces, but it's giving me a lot more volume at the top. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, I plan to every few months do follow-up videos, let you know if any parts of my routine have changed. I'm definitely going to keep on trying out different styling products to see um, if there's things that work even better. Simple is always better when it comes to your wavy 
curly hair. The less I feel you do, the better it's gonna look. So right now I'm only using two things, the conditioner, the styling cream, and then just letting it air dry or, and diffusing as needed. So uh, that's it for now and I will check in with you guys in a few months to let you know how it's going. So good luck, if you have questions, again, just put them below and I will be happy to answer them for you. Bye.